The other thing that we do that we invest a lot of time in is, is teach guys how to have fun in recovery. And so we do a lot of activities that are all paid for, it's all part of it. We invest a lot of extracurricular activities from campouts to trips to all that sort of stuff because it teaches people how, yeah, you can, not only can you get sober, but it can be a lot of fun. And you know what? Even more fun than it is when you're on substances, you actually remember it, enjoy it, and uh, you know, uh, able to participate a lot more. We'll do things outside of Chapter House and outside of the recovery community to kind of break up the ice and get them out there and doing some stuff that they might you know, enjoy a little more and they can just relax and not have to take themselves on as you will, if you, if you will. So we get, you know, we have season tickets to many of the um, professional sports uh, teams. We go camping, we do um, escape rooms, we do, gosh, we go to football games, baseball games, hockey games. Um, I mean, we just, we do an activity literally every single weekend. If there's a UFC fight on TV, we're gonna um, get it on pay-per-view and invite a bunch of guys from AA over to watch it with the guys and order pizza. If a fight comes to town, we take them to that. You know, we want to meet them where they're at with that, and we want to teach them that recovery is about having fun, too. And I'm a big believer, and always have been, in the principles of a philanthropy. So we've actually built into our curriculum, there's a group that provides services for the homeless, um, and we teach them about philanthropy, we teach them about fundraising, and out of everything we do, um, our guys seem to enjoy that the most. I think it gives them a vision Beyond that, this is simply not about them. There's plenty of people in this world that need help and it, it helps just broaden their perspective and their vision on life. Um, that there's a lot of people out there that need help. And uh, one of the activities we got to do this year was um, we worked down at the homeless camp. There's about 100 tents under I-30. And uh, one of our employees had the idea that maybe we could grill some hamburgers and hot dogs. And so this built up some steam and uh, we had 35 volunteers and we did, we watched the NFC football championship with a big screen TV, a satellite link. We had two gas grills and we served uh, over 150 hot dogs and hamburgers to the homeless and just had a magnificent time. The guys said they loved it and, uh, and it was a really neat thing to be a part of that. So we spend a tremendous amount of time and effort really to allow guys to have that kind of full experience um, which is, is really important when you're talking about learning how to have fun in recovery. We also provide a lot of uh, wellness. Uh, we do, you know, curl fitness. We take the guys there. We believe in taking care of the body, which in turn, to, you know, takes care of the mind. And, and uh, we also do the UFC gym where they get to work with a, a trainer over there and actually a current UFC fighter, which has been pretty awesome for a lot, for a lot of guys. And they get to practice some Muay Thai and boxing and, and things like that. And so I've seen that be very helpful for our, for our residents that are here. So it's been something where we've tried to teach these guys and we've been successful at is trying to teach them the importance of community and fellowship and, and having fun in recovery. And I think what our team and our staff here at the Sober Living the Council Center bring is an energy and enthusiasm of and, a, and an attraction of what recovery should look like day to day. And, and so it can be something the guys really grab onto.